how to create a PayPal button to add to your website. Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from daytips.com and in this video, I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how you can create a PayPal button so you can start receiving payments from your website. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is to actually log into your PayPal account. So I'm going to do that real quick. So once you're actually inside of your PayPal account, you're going to want to come up to here where it says profile, click on that and then click on profile and settings. You'll then be taken to this page where you want to click on my selling preferences and then you're going to want to click on the very first button which is update PayPal buttons. So this brings us to this page where you can actually edit one of these sample buttons or you can create a new button. But for this particular video we're going to create a new button. So the first option you see here is to choose a button type. As you can see the default one is shopping cart. You can also add a buy now button, a gift vouchers button, a donations button, a subscriptions button. So if you want people to be paying you on a monthly subscription to your website, maybe you have a membership site or some sort of program where you're sending a product out each and every month, then you can pick that particular uh, type of button. You might have an automatic billing button or an installment plan button. Next, you have your item name. So whatever your product name is, you can put it there. And also if your item has a particular ID, so I'm going to put here test and my ID is one, but you can also see here that the ID name is optional. So you don't have to add an ID name here. Next is asking you for the price. So whatever your particular price is, you can type it in here. I'm just going to put 10 great British pounds, but you can also change the currency if you like as well. And if you need multiple prices, then you can add a drop down menu by clicking this button here. And as you can see, when you click that drop down menu button here, you can add a name for your drop down menu and you can select different options and different prices. So for example, if you had different types of your particular product, maybe you have it in different colors and depending on what color someone chooses, it might be a different price. So you can put here blue and you can put that the blue one maybe is 12 pounds maybe your red one is 13 pounds and so on and so forth you might have different sizes so whatever your particular product is whatever needs you have you can choose this drop down menu if you need to add different prices you can also add a drop down menu without prices so if you don't want any prices um, to be different but you still want to add a drop down menu for people to choose color then you can do that as well and you can add a text field so if you wanted to add a specific text on top of your buy now button or your add to cart button then you can do that as well if it's a product that you're adding to your website then you might want to add postage prices as well and you can do that by simply putting a price here so you might put something like £2.80 here this helps you to cover your shipping costs now there are a few more customization features like tracking inventory and profit and loss and custom advanced features and you can check those out if you want to but I'm going to keep this tutorial basic and click create button so when I click the create button tab it actually takes me to here where it has saved all of the information that I have actually just entered and I can copy this code here which is actually called the HTML code now depending on what website builder you are using you normally have an option to add HTML code to your website so if you're using WordPress if you're using Weebly if you're using Wix then you can actually copy this code and paste it to wherever there is a HTML option in your web builder alternatively you can actually click this email link here and it will show you a link to that particular PayPal button that you've just created so you can copy that and you can paste that to your website or you can make a clickable link to your website and people can just follow this link and they will be taken to the PayPal button that you've just created so let's try and go there now I'm actually going to paste this particular URL into my browser and see where it takes me. So I pasted the URL inside my browser and this is the page where it took me. As you can see, it's my test product here and the item is £10 and I can add as much quantity here as I like. So hopefully you found this video useful and you can now start receiving PayPal payments to your website. If this video did help you out, then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend. If you have any additional questions or comments, then leave them for me in the comment section. But until next time, watch some of my other business related videos, subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content. Have a great day and I will see you soon.